we'll look at some exponential growth and decay word problems. Now, when we're talking about this, we're talking about A stands for the initial. So this is a good thing to we'll just type over here in the side. Um, a equals initial value. So that's like, you know, when we're starting at zero. Okay. R equals rate. It's usually a percent. Just going to do this for percent. And then T equals time. Now, our percentages, we are going to have to change into decimals. So if we're looking at number one, you deposit $750 in a bank account that will earn a simple interest of 3.5% per year. How much will your investment be worth after 12 years? Let's first change this little percentage right here into a decimal. That means we've got to move the zero over two places to the left. So we get 0 0.0035. Now, that is our rate. We know that's right there. We know our initial is right here, 750. And right here, 12, that's our time, a little t. Okay, so we're just going to fill that out. We're going to say y equals our initial 750, parentheses, 1 plus our rate, 0 0.035. And we're going to raise that to, whoops. Keep doing that. We're going to raise that to our time, which is 12 years. Now we just stick this into the calculator and we get y equals $27,000 and 483, 20, excuse me, 27,483 and 14 cents. And I did round. Okay. Let's look at number two. Now, how do I tell the difference between increasing and decreasing? Well, this last one had a simple interest, and interest means I'm earning money, so that must be growth. But here, the yearly profits of the company currently is 25,000. The profits have been decreasing. I bet that means I use exponential decay by 6% per year. What would the profit be in eight years? Now, remember, 6%, I'm gonna have to change that to 0.06. And this, we're going to use the decrease. So the only thing different is we're going to have that minus sign in there. So y equals my initial amount. Yep, that's 25,000 times 1 minus 0 0.06. And we're going to raise that to 8 years. Eight. And that's going to be y equals the money which is $15,239.22. Okay, again, I just stuck that into the Desmos calculator. So let's look at, I don't know, two more. So let's look at number five. The foundation of a house has 1,200 termites. The termites grow at a rate of about 2.4% each year, each day, excuse me. How many termites are there after one week? So, Termites are growing, so that means it's increasing. I know that 2.4% is the same thing as 0 0.024. So now I'm going to use that growth formula. So I'm going to say y equals the initial amount. I have this many termites to start with. 1 plus 0 0.024 because I am increasing, they're growing. And I raise it, and it says each day, and there are seven days in a week. So that's how I got that seven. So I end up with, now I'm going to round this to the nearest termite because I don't want half a termite. I get uh, 1,416 termite. And again, I'm just plugging that into a calculator just like how it is. Let's do one more. In 2010, an item cost $9. The price went down. Uh-oh, went down means growth or decay, you think? Decay, that's right. 1.5%. Okay, let's change that 0 0.0015. 
how much will item cost in 2030? Okay, 2030, I'm going to have to go 2030 minus 2010 to find out that I have 20 years. Okay, so now again, this is decay. So I'm going to say Y equals cost $9 to begin with, 1 minus 0 0.015 raised to the 20 because the difference between 2030 and 2010 is 20 years. And I put this in my calculator and I get the item is now worth $6.65. Okay, so that's it. Just remember things like went down, or grow, what's the difference? One means decay, one means growth. And then time is your T. The rate is your percentage that you gotta change into a percent, into a decimal. And then we've got the initial item. And it should be pretty straightforward.